Capacitance is the ratio of the change in an electric charge in a system to the corresponding change in its electric potential. There are two closely related notions of capacitance, self-capacitance and mutual capacitance. Any object that can be electrically charged exhibits self-capacitance. A material with a large self-capacitance holds more electric charge at a given voltage than one with low capacitance. The notion of mutual capacitance is particularly important for understanding the operations of the capacitor, one of the three elementary linear electronic components along with resistors and inductors. The capacitance is a function only of the geometry of the design e.g. area of the plates and the distance between them and the permittivity of the dielectric material between the plates of the capacitor. For many dielectric materials, the permittivity and thus the capacitance, is independent of the potential difference between the conductors and the total charge on them. The SI unit of capacitance is the farad symbol, F, named after the English physicist Michael Faraday. A 1 farad capacitor, when charged with 1 coulomb of electrical charge, has a potential difference of 1 volt between its plates. The reciprocal of capacitance is called elastance. Self-capacitance In electrical circuits, the term capacitance is usually a shorthand for the mutual capacitance between two adjacent conductors, such as the two plates of a capacitor. However, for an isolated conductor, there also exists a property called self-capacitance, which is the amount of electric charge that must be added to an isolated conductor to raise its electric potential by one unit i.e. one volt, in most measurement systems. The reference point for this potential is a theoretical hollow conducting sphere, of infinite radius, with the conductor centered inside this sphere. Mathematically, the self-capacitance of a conductor is defined by C equals Q V style C equals FRAC Q V where Q is the charge held by the conductor V equals 1 4 pi epsilon 0 sigma d s r display style v equals 1 over 4 pi var epsilon underscore 0 int sigma d s over r is the electric potential sigma is the surface charge density d s is an infinitesimal element of area R is the length from ds to a fixed point m within the plate epsilon 0 display style var epsilon underscore 0 is the vacuum permittivity using this method the self capacitance of a conducting sphere of radius r is c equals 4 pi epsilon 0 r Display style c equals 4 pi var epsilon underscore 0 r. Example values of self-capacitance are: for the top plate of a Van de Graaff generator, typically a sphere 20 centimeters in radius, 22.24 picofarads; the planet Earth, about 710 microfarads. The interwinding capacitance of a coil is sometimes called self-capacitance, but this is a different phenomenon. It is actually mutual capacitance between the individual turns of the coil and is a form of stray, or parasitic capacitance. This self-capacitance is an important consideration at high frequencies, it changes the impedance of the coil and gives rise to parallel resonance. In many applications this is an undesirable effect and sets an upper frequency limit for the correct operation of the circuit. Mutual capacitance A common form is a parallel plate capacitor, which consists of two conductive plates insulated from each other, usually sandwiching a dielectric material. In a parallel plate capacitor, capacitance is very nearly proportional to the surface area of the conductor plates and inversely proportional to the separation distance between the plates. If the charges on the plates are plus Q and minus Q, and V gives the voltage between the plates, then the capacitance C is given by C equals Q V displaystyle C equals FRAC Q V, which gives the voltage-current relationship I T 
equals C D V T D T Display style I T equals C F R A C Mathem D V T Mathem D T The energy stored in a capacitor is found by integrating the work W W charging equals one two C V two Display style W underscore text charging equals FRAC one two C V carrot two Topic Capacitance matrix The discussion above is limited to the case of two conducting plates, although of arbitrary size and shape. The definition C equals Q V display style C equals Q V does not apply when there are more than two charged plates or when the net charge on the two plates is non-zero to handle this case Maxwell introduced his coefficients of potential if three nearly ideal conductors are given charges Q 1 Q 2 Q 3 Display style Q underscore one Q underscore two Q underscore three. Then the voltage at conductor one is given by V one equals P eleven Q one plus P twelve Q two plus P thirteen Q three display style v underscore one equals p underscore eleven q underscore one plus p underscore twelve q underscore two plus p underscore thirteen q underscore three, and similarly for the other voltages. Hermann von Helmholtz and Sir William Thomson showed that the coefficients of potential are symmetric, so that p twelve equals p twenty one. Display style p underscore twelve equals p underscore twenty one, etc. Thus, the system can be described by a collection of coefficients known as the elastance matrix or reciprocal capacitance matrix, which is defined as p i j equals v i q j. Display style p underscore i j equals frac partial v underscore i partial q underscore j. From this, the mutual capacitance C m display style C underscore m between two objects can be defined by solving for the total charge Q and using C m equals Q v. Display style C underscore M equals Q V C M equals one P eleven plus P twenty two minus P twelve plus P twenty one Display style C underscore M equals FRAC one P underscore eleven plus P underscore twenty two P underscore twelve plus P underscore twenty one. Since no actual device holds perfectly equal and opposite charges on each of the two plates, it is the mutual capacitance that is reported on capacitors. The collection of coefficients C I J equals Q I V J display style C underscore I J equals frac partial Q underscore I partial V underscore J is known as the capacitance matrix and is the inverse of the elastance matrix. Topic: Capacitors. The capacitance of the majority of capacitors used in electronic circuits is generally several orders of magnitude smaller than the farad. 
The most common subunits of capacitance in use today are the microfarad micro -F, nanofarad NF, picofarad PF, and, in microcircuits, femtofarad FF. However, specially made supercapacitors can be much larger as much as hundreds of farads, and parasitic capacitive elements can be less than a femtofarad. In the past, alternate subunits were used in historical electronic books, MFD, and MF, for microfarad micro -F. MMFD, MMF, micro micro F, for picofarad PF, but are rarely used anymore. Capacitance can be calculated if the geometry of the conductors and the dielectric properties of the insulator between the conductors are known. A qualitative explanation for this can be given as follows. Once a positive charge is put onto a conductor, this charge creates an electrical field, repelling any other positive charge to be moved onto the conductor, i.e., increasing the necessary voltage. But if nearby there is another conductor with a negative charge on it, the electrical field of the positive conductor repelling the second positive charge is weakened, the second positive charge also feels the attracting force of the negative charge. So due to the second conductor with a negative charge, it becomes easier to put a positive charge on the already positive charged first conductor, and vice versa, i.e., the necessary voltage is lowered. As a quantitative example consider the capacitance of a capacitor constructed of two parallel plates both of area A separated by a distance D. If D is sufficiently small with respect to the smallest chord of A, there holds, to a high level of accuracy, C equals Epsilon zero A D display style C equals var epsilon underscore zero frac A D, where C is the capacitance in farads, A is the area of overlap of the two plates in square meters. Epsilon zero is the electric constant. Epsilon zero approximately equals 8.854 times 10 minus 12 fm minus 1, and d is the separation between the plates in meters. Capacitance is proportional to the area of overlap and inversely proportional to the separation between conducting sheets. The closer the sheets are to each other, the greater the capacitance. The equation is a good approximation if d is small compared to the other dimensions of the plate so that the electric field in the capacitor area is uniform, and the so-called fringing field around the periphery provides only a small contribution to the capacitance. Combining the equation for capacitance with the above equation for the energy stored in a capacitance, for a flat plate capacitor the energy stored is W stored equals 1 2 C V 2 equals 1 2 epsilon 0 a D V 2 display style W underscore text stored equals frac 1 2 C V carrot 2 equals frac 1 2 var epsilon underscore 0 frac a D V carrot 2 where W is the energy in joules C is the capacitance in farads and V is the voltage in volts topic stray capacitance Any two adjacent conductors can function as a capacitor, though the capacitance is small unless the conductors are close together for long distances or over a large area. This often unwanted capacitance is called parasitic or stray capacitance. Stray capacitance can allow signals to leak between otherwise isolated circuits an effect called crosstalk, and it can be a limiting factor for proper functioning of circuits at high frequency. Stray capacitance between the input and output in amplifier circuits can be troublesome because it can form a path for feedback, which can cause instability and parasitic oscillation in the amplifier. It is often convenient for analytical purposes to replace this capacitance with a combination of one input to ground capacitance and one output to ground capacitance. The original configuration including the input to output capacitance is often referred to as a pi configuration. Miller's theorem can be used to affect this replacement. It states that, if the gain ratio of two nodes is 1, k, then an impedance of z connecting the two nodes can be replaced with a z, 1 minus k impedance between the first node and ground and a k z, k minus 1 impedance between the second node and ground. 
Since impedance varies inversely with capacitance, the internode capacitance, C, is replaced by a capacitance of Kc from input to ground and a capacitance of K -1 C, K from output to ground. When the input-to-output gain is very large, the equivalent input-to-ground impedance is very small while the output-to-ground impedance is essentially equal to the original input-to-output impedance. Capacitance of conductors with simple shapes Calculating the capacitance of a system amounts to solving the Laplace equation 2 phi equals 0 with a constant potential phi on the surface of the conductors. This is trivial in cases with high symmetry. There is no solution in terms of elementary functions in more complicated cases. For two-dimensional situations analytic functions may be used to map different geometries to each other. See also schwartz christoffel mapping. <inaudible> energy storage The energy measured in joules stored in a capacitor is equal to the work required to push the charges into the capacitor, i.e. to charge it. Consider a capacitor of capacitance C, holding a charge plus Q on one plate and minus Q on the other. Moving a small element of charge dq from one plate to the other against the potential difference V equals Q, C requires the work dW d w equals q c d q display style mathrm d w equals frac q c mathrm d q where w is the work measured in joules q is the charge measured in coulombs and c is the capacitance measured in farads the energy stored in a capacitor is found by integrating this equation Starting with an uncharged capacitance Q equals zero and moving charge from one plate to the other until the plates have charge plus Q and minus Q requires the work W W charging equals zero Q Q C D Q equals one two Q two C equals one two Q V equals one two C V two equals W stored Display style W underscore text charging equals int underscore zero carrot Q FRAC Q C Mathem D Q equals FRAC one two FRAC Q carrot two C equals FRAC one two Q V equals FRAC one two C V carrot two equals W underscore text stored. Topic Nanoscale systems The capacitance of nanoscale dielectric capacitors such as quantum dots may differ from conventional formulations of larger capacitors. In particular, the electrostatic potential difference experienced by electrons in conventional capacitors is spatially well defined and fixed by the shape and size of metallic electrodes in addition to the statistically large number of electrons present in conventional capacitors. In nanoscale capacitors, however, the electrostatic potentials experienced by electrons are determined by the number and locations of all electrons that contribute to the electronic properties of the device. In such devices, the number of electrons may be very small, however, the resulting spatial distribution of equipotential surfaces within the device are exceedingly complex. Single electron devices. The capacitance of a connected, or closed, single electron device is twice the capacitance of an unconnected, or open, single electron device. This fact may be traced more fundamentally to the energy stored in the single electron device whose direct polarization 
Interaction energy may be equally divided into the interaction of the electron with the polarized charge on the device itself due to the presence of the electron and the amount of potential energy required to form the polarized charge on the device the interaction of charges in the device's dielectric material with the potential due to the electron. Few electron devices The derivation of a quantum capacitance of a few electron device involves the thermodynamic chemical potential of an n particle system given by mu n equals u n minus u n minus 1 display style mu n equals u n u n 1 whose energy terms may be obtained as solutions of the Schrödinger equation. The definition of capacitance 1 C delta V delta Q display style 1 over C equiv delta V over delta Q with the potential difference delta V equals delta mu E equals mu n plus delta n minus mu n e display style delta v equals delta mu over e equals mu n plus delta n mu n over e may be applied to the device with the addition or removal of individual electrons delta n equals 1 display style delta n equals 1 and delta q equals e display style delta q equals e then c q n equals e 2 mu n plus 1 minus mu n equals e 2 e n display style c underscore q n equals e caret 2 over mu n plus 1 mu n equals e caret 2 over e n is the quantum capacitance of the device this expression of quantum capacitance may be written as c q n equals e 2 u n display style c underscore q n equals e caret 2 over u n which differs from the conventional expression described in the introduction where w stored equals u Display style W underscore text stored equals U. The stored electrostatic potential energy C equals Q two two U. Display style C equals Q carrot two over two U by a factor of one half with Q equals N E display style q equals nay however within the framework of purely classical electrostatic interactions the appearance of the factor of 1/2 half is the result of integration in the conventional formulation w charging equals u equals 0 q q c d q Display style W underscore text charging equals U equals int underscore zero carrot Q FRAC Q C Mathem D Q which is appropriate since D Q equals zero Display style Mathem D Q equals zero for systems involving either many electrons or metallic electrodes, but in few electron systems D Q delta Q equals 
E display style mathrm d q to delta q equals E the integral generally becomes a summation one may trivially combine the expressions of capacitance and electrostatic interaction energy q equals c v display style q equals c v and u equals q v display style u equals q v respectively to obtain c equals q 1 v equals q q u equals q 2 u display style c equals q 1 over v equals q q over u equals q caret 2 over u which is similar to the quantum capacitance a more rigorous derivation is reported in the literature in particular, to circumvent the mathematical challenges of the spatially complex equipotential surfaces within the device, an average electrostatic potential experiences by each electron is utilized in the derivation. The reason for apparent mathematical differences is understood more fundamentally as the potential energy U n of an isolated device self -capacitance is twice that stored in a connected device in the lower limit n equals 1 as n grows large u n u display style u n to u thus the general expression of capacitance is c n equals n e 2 u n Display style carbon mononitride equals Ne carrot two over U N. In nanoscale devices such as quantum dots, the capacitor is often an isolated, or partially isolated, component within the device. The primary differences between nanoscale capacitors and macroscopic conventional capacitors are the number of excess electrons, charge carriers, or electrons, that contribute to the device's electronic behavior, and the shape and size of metallic electrodes. In nanoscale devices, nanowires consisting of metal atoms typically do not exhibit the same conductive properties as their macroscopic, or bulk material, counterparts. <laughs> Capacitance in electronic and semiconductor devices In electronic and semiconductor devices, transient or frequency-dependent current between terminals contains both conduction and displacement components. Conduction current is related to moving charge carriers electrons, holes, ions, etc., while displacement current is caused by time-varying electric field. Carrier transport is affected by electric field and by a number of physical phenomena, such as carrier drift and diffusion, trapping, injection, contact-related effects, impact ionization, etc. As a result, device admittance is frequency-dependent, and a simple electrostatic formula for capacitance C equals Q V C equals Q V is not applicable. A more general definition of capacitance, encompassing electrostatic formula, is C equals I'm Y Omega Omega Display style C equals FRAC operator name I'm Y Omega Omega where Y Omega Display style Y Omega is the device admittance and Omega display style Omega is the angular frequency in general case capacitance is a function of frequency at high frequencies capacitance approached a constant value equal to geometric capacitance determined by the terminals geometry and dielectric content in the device a paper by Stephen Locks presents a review of numerical techniques for capacitance calculation in particular, capacitance can be calculated by a Fourier transform of a transient current in response to a step like voltage excitation. C omega equals 1 delta 
v 0 infinity i t minus i infinity c o s omega t d t Display style c omega equals one delta five in underscore zero caret in a t i t i in a t cos omega t d t. Topic: Negative capacitance in semiconductor devices. Usually, capacitance in semiconductor devices is positive. However, in some devices and under certain conditions temperature, applied voltages, frequency, etc., capacitance can become negative. Non-monotonic behavior of the transient current in response to a step like excitation has been proposed as the mechanism of negative capacitance. Negative capacitance has been demonstrated and explored in many different types of semiconductor devices. See also Capacitive displacement sensor Capacity of a set Quantum capacitance Conductance Displacement current Ampere's law Gauss law Hydraulic analogy RKM code LCR meter <laughs>